Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on the indicator called RSI which stands for the Relative Strength Indicator. Now what does the RSI represent? Well basically it's showing you the sentiment of a trend plotted along using an algorithm. Now I won't explain what the algorithms are because you don't need to understand what the algorithms are. But you do need to understand how the re algorithm is represented in this form here. And basically we see this plot between 0 and 100. And between it there at 30 and 70 are these two lines. There's one at 30 and then one at 70 and then this one at 50. Now, what we can see uh, best describe the point at 50 as being the point where there is, say, a general malaise in that particular stock. So there's neither a huge amount of interest in terms of whether it is um, very strong in terms of bullish or bearish. But what the RSI is very good at is it gives an indication as to whether the stock is particularly overbought or oversold. Now most of the um, indicators kind of do show very similar things and you know we'll be covering um, not only the RSI which we have here but we also have momentum we have um, accumulation and distribution a very popular one called MACD2 and uh, they all kinda in some ways represent very similar things and I would very strongly recommend that you just pretty much just choose one at the very most two to work with because once you start adding on more and more indicators it can get very complex and not so much the complex that you're going to end up with a better result just complex and you're just going to end up with a world of uh, mess in terms of you may find that one indicator will contradict another so it's really best to um, understand that indicators are there to help you understand and read what is also in the chart. I think probably the best advice I could ever give in terms of an indicator is that in that don't trade just using indicators alone. Always look at the information being presented to you in terms of the chart itself. Trade using the chart not using an indicator. By that I mean don't rely solely on indicators. I see, I've trained many students over the years where I see them have uh, the indicators blown up and the chart sort of scrunched up like we have here. I've only done this so I can show you what the RSI is representing in this form. How you should have it is something like this where predominantly you're looking at the overall chart and, and you have the indicators below just, just showing basic information so as a guide. You should always trade on the information being shown to you by the chart and not the information shown to you by the indicator. So what is it that we're seeing with this indicator? Well basically the RSI shows us an overbought or an oversold uh, position. Now the overbought position with the RSI is around about 70. And we'll make that a little bit clearer by putting a line, a, a bigger thicker line through it. And an oversold position at is, is, is at 30. So what that represents is the chart end of day price moving up and down up and down and it's been represented and churned through an, uh, various um, uh, moving averages and, and uh, algorithms and calculations to represent this plot form and basically what it's trying to show is sentiment as to whether the current stock is overbought in this case it starts to reach 70, the more it gets closer to 70, the, the more there is 
a chance of a downturn and a retracement moving down towards either the midpoint which is at 50 or down towards you know below that and it, it's a, basically just a simple plot line that shows you that sentiment as to whether something is overbought in other words it's going up too quickly too fast too soon and there's bound to be a correction at some point and the closer it gets to 70 the chances of that correction happening become more and more and then the same is conversely true with it reaching 30 so the the more it is retracing and the faster it's retracing and the closer it gets to 30 the more there is to be quite a substantial um, bounce or, or um, bullish move upwards as it hits a support now one of the things you need to understand is that you know yeah that's all well and good reading those um, with that but it's also important to understand and put in supports and resistances too once you start doing that then you understand that the RSI actually is showing you oops, actually showing you if we can get that up it's not going to do that now I think I need to remove that line because it's causing problems um, is actually showing you points of supports and resistance as well so we have a support here which is represented at this point here so and it's, it's actually starting to show a bounce as well so we're starting to see some growth and then we also have a resistance which is represented here now the point that I'm trying to get across here is that yes the textbooks say an overbought is at 70 and an oversold is at 30 but you also have to read the RSI in relation to how it's represented in the chart so really the overbought position for this chart is really at this point and the oversold position for this chart in particular is around about this point so it's slightly narrower than what we're seeing being represented by the um, the current 30 and 70 marks it's around about 65 and, and 35 in this case and once we begin to understand that okay well this chart tends to mo retrace more at um, you know it reaches the point of being overbought around about this point rather than 70 then it allows us to gauge that in combination with the support and resistance within the chart itself to understand where we're more likely to get or leading up to a support and resistance too. The other good thing is is that if the chart say is breaking out above into new highs and then starts uh, we can then use that or use the um, the I have to open that up and then place that back in we can then use these boundaries that we've put uh, as as new uh, indic as as me as a means of finding out where the chart may begin to find a new resistance or a new support too so the RSI is pretty powerful and uh, you just have to remember that you will find as with every other indicator they tend to pretty much show what's represented on the chart anyway but you should always only ever trade using the chart you should only use an indicator more as a confirmation as the as the name suggests it is just simply an indicator it's an indication of a possible event whereas you know we use the chart to really gauge what is really happening with the stock and the sentiment uh, and the indicators just just allow us just to give us a tiny little bit of edge in terms of uh, our trading so that's the RSI